My name's Tad with Amarex Fire, and today we're gonna to teach you how to properly extinguish a fire with a hand portable fire extinguisher. Here at Amarex, we wanna make sure that you know safely how to extinguish a fire. Should you encounter a fire that you think has been burning for quite some time, call 911 or have someone else do it for you before proceeding to extinguish the fire. Okay, now let's begin the process of how to use these Amarex hand portable fire extinguishers. Most people think that there's only three classes of fire. A, B, and C. However, that's not correct. There's actually five. A, B, C, D, and K. Class A fires are anything that leave an ember or an ash, like wood, paper, or plastic. Class B fires are classified as flammable liquids, anything like gas, alcohol, or grease. Class C fires are for anything that is electrically energized. Class D fires are for metals such as magnesium or titanium. So class K's are used for commercial kitchen fires. So you can identify the class of extinguisher by looking on the label. It will have one of those five classifications. In a commercial environment, most likely a hazard analysis has been performed already and the correct extinguisher has been placed close to the application. Never attempt to fight a fire unless you know you have a clear path of egress. We like to use the acronym PASS to remember the steps to correctly use the fire extinguisher. PASS stands for pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Pull is the first step and it stands for pulling the safety pin. Pulling the pin requires some force to break the tamper seal, so pull hard. Alternatively, you can twist the pin like turning a key to more easily break the seal. When you encounter a small fire at its beginning stages, stand back eight to 10 feet from the fire and pull the safety pin of the extinguisher. Next is aim. Aim the nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. Aiming at the base is extremely important because you wanna be sure that you're starting at the base of the fire, not at the top of the flames. Once you've aimed the extinguisher at the base of the fire, the next step is squeeze. Squeeze the trigger handle at the top of the extinguisher. This will discharge the contents of the extinguisher. Be prepared for discharge recoil by holding the extinguisher and hose firmly. When using an extinguisher that has a flexible hose assembly, aiming is much easier if you hold the hose with your dominant hand while operating the lever with your non-dominant hand. The last step is sweep. As you discharge the extinguisher, sweep the hose side to side past both edges of the base of the fire. Make sure that you're sweeping fast enough to keep the fuel from reflashing. As the fire is extinguished, slowly move forward towards the fire. Also, don't be afraid to completely empty the extinguisher even if the fire looks like it's already out. Pass, pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. It's that easy. Once the fire is completely extinguished, evacuate the area safely. Once you're in that safe location, call 911 if assistance or medical attention is necessary. Thank you for watching our Amarex training video. You can find more information at our website at www.amarex-fire.com.